Thousands have come to London's financial district this Saturday to join in the global Occupy Together protests in solidarity with the Occupy Wall Street movement. But since protesters were stopped from entering London's stock exchange, they settled on St. Paul's Cathedral steps instead, where they set up a people's assembly. Occupy London protesters made the cathedral steps home on October the 17th leading the chapter of St. Paul's to close the cathedral five days later for health and safety precautions. Many clergy came out in support of the protesters. Within the week, however, Dr. Giles Fraser resigned as canon chancellor. The next day, Chaplain Fraser Dyer followed his lead. By the end of the month, the Right Reverend Graham Knowles handed in his resignation to the Queen. Signs appeared in the camps asking, what would Jesus do? Let's have a different index of wealth, human livelihood, cost of living, access to health care, education, right? Not just how much money is in numbers in my account. I think the Occupy Movement is interested in that conversation. Christianity is definitely interested in that conversation. You are not how much money you have or don't. You're not just rich or poor. You are loved, and you are called to be who you are, where, where you are, and you are called to understand that all of it's God's anyways. So you, get re so you don't hold on to it tightly. You hold on to it loosely. Because you can't take it with you anyways. In the early hours of February the 28th, after four months of occupation, London police forcibly evicted the protesters from their camp on the steps of St. Paul's Cathedral. As the camp was being evicted, Protesters and Christians gathered on the cathedral steps in prayer. This silent protest continued until 3 a.m. when bailiffs dragged those who refused to stop praying off the cathedral grounds. Jesus is always with the people. Anytime you read scripture, Jesus is with the crowds. And he's, if he is occupying, whatever he's doing is he's teaching them. Right? So he, he, if he's out there occupying, which I, I would have no problem saying that he is, but what we would see is a Jesus out there amongst the crowd, loving them and challenging them and also encouraging them, right? Because whenever Christ is there, he loves, he challenges, and he encourages. So I think the things that he would be excited about in the Occupy Movement, he would be excited about. And I imagine there would also be a word there that he would want to challenge and um, teach the people about. Are you jumping idols? Are you going from money to something else? Is this about entitlement? Is this about you not just feeling like, I want mine? Or is this about something bigger than you? Is this something about what God can actually offer and change in this world? You know, I would be interested to see Christ out in the tents, figuring out how to have that conversation with the people out there.